Now I know how daunting it can be switching from one Call of Duty title to another title or simply if you are brand new to the Call of Duty franchise, this video is going to help you make that transition a little bit smoother. We are going to be going over the key major tips to be able to help you improve your accuracy and we're also going to go over a drill. So at any point in the video, if you do enjoy and you do find these tips very helpful, make sure to drop a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it and make sure to subscribe if you are brand new around here and turn on post notifications so you make your way back to the channel. It's trouble time. The first major tip that that I do want to go over with you guys to get you guys started here is finding your best sensitivity. So in my previous settings video, I said, do not copy my sensitivity settings. It's going to be different and personalized for everybody else. So in order to find your best sensitivity, I do highly recommend starting off at a pretty high sensitivity. Now, the reason why behind this is because we're going to gradually bump the sensitivity down maybe by one or two, depending on how comfortable we feel at that particular sensitivity. And also we're going to keep the low zoom at one, and then we're going to play around with the settings. And I'm going to show you the effects of how important this ADS stick sensitivity actually is. So right now, for example, we're at a 14 and a 14. This is not my perfect sensitivity at all. I'm actually very uncomfortable with this. So you're going to want to find some sort of object. For example purposes, I am using this cone right here. We're going to pretend this is an enemy, right? And as you can see, like right off the bat, I'm just strafing left and right. I'm having a really hard time even centering my crosshairs on the actual target. And it's going all over the place. And I'm not doing this on purpose either. This is just too much for me. So uh, I'm going to try to aim in on it. <laughs> and as you can see, I turn to the right. So uh, at this point, what you want to do is you want to turn your sensitivity down. We're going to actually bump this down by two. Okay. All right. And I'm going to try the same exact thing. So it's just slightly a little bit more controlled here. I feel like it's almost there, but it's not perfect. So we're going to continue to change the settings here. And we're going to bump this down even more to an eight. Now it's a little bit more slowed down, but still not as comfortable for me. All right, so we're going to bump that down one more time. This is me personally, what I personally rock with. So I'm going to go with a six and a six, which is what I usually use. All right. So of course, this is a very small target. Cut me some slack here. This is a very small target. Of course, the aim and the precision is going to be slightly off, but you, you know for a fact that just looking at this, this is a lot more precise than what we had earlier. So this is exactly what you need to do as well. This is an enemy and we want to get as close as possible as we can to the target in accuracy. Okay. So this looks a lot better. The next thing I want to show you guys is this low zoom ADS stick sensitivity setting right here. The reason why you want to adjust this is because this is going to further help you improve your accuracy. So this is practical for most situations. So let me just show you a quick example here. If I had this, let's say all the way up to three, when I'm ADSing, remember this is an ADS setting. Now watch how sporadic my screen moves around when I'm just using the right stick. Imagine if I was trying to do this in a real match, I would definitely lose gunfights because my accuracy is not its most optimal. So what you want to do is you want to definitely decrease this. For me personally, the sweet spot is 1.80. And I think we can agree that most players, especially on YouTube and Twitch, they do run this exact same setting as well. So when you're ADSing, it's perfect like this for me, but you know, for more casual players, maybe you might want to lower that a little bit more so that when you're ADSing, your right stick doesn't move as sporadically as this right here. So me being an experienced Call of Duty player, I've been playing for 10 years. Uh, this is what works perfectly for me. So recoil is probably one of the most common things that a lot of players do struggle with. So you do want to take notice to the fact that every assault rifle, every LMG, every MP5, they're all going to have predictive recoil. So I'm just going to give you an example right here. We're using the XM4, for example, and I'm just going to ADS and I'm just going to fire the weapon and not control the recoil at all, just so you can see that recoil pattern. And we're going to do this twice just to prove a point that this does have predictive recoil. All right, I'm gonna try this again. Now it might not be exactly aligned up with the first bullet shot, but you get the picture here. As you can see, the bullet patterns are similar to each other. And with this information, we see that it goes up and then diagonally to the left, but for the most part, it goes straight up. So what you wanna do to counteract this recoil is just pull down ever so slightly on your right stick and you will be able to control that recoil for a much more accurate shot. So let me go ahead and show you how that works here. Just gonna tug down on our right thumbstick to be able to counter that recoil. Now you don't wanna overdo this as well because if you overdo it, obviously your shot's gonna be a little off. But as you can see here, radius is a lot smaller and this is gonna result in a much more accurate shot against your opponents. Here we have the MP5, this is an SMG in the game. And we're gonna show you guys the recoil pattern for this as well. So fire and shoot. 
right now let's go ahead and take a look at that recoil pattern so for the most part they are fairly similar as far as that recoil pattern goes there isn't too much of a drastic change in both of these recoil patterns so now let's go ahead and counteract this recoil with the information that we know so we're going to make sure that we keep our right stick as steady as possible all right let's go ahead and try this out all right so the first few parts are very very difficult this actually has a lot of recoil to it as you can see it's not that clean so let's go ahead and try this again one more time all right so the second try was a lot better so it's good to try this out if you haven't tried it out yet and as you can see this bullet pattern is a lot more cleaner a lot more precise i felt like i had to control that side to side bounce a lot more and not tug down too much on the right stick but as you can see we did figure out the recoil pattern and now we know what to do all right so now we have an lmg here it is the stoner lmg and as we have seen in the previous two weapons the mp5 and the xm4 they do have their own predictive recoils all right so let's go ahead and see if this is the same case for the stoner all right so we're just gonna let it do its thing hopefully we're able to make a second pattern fast enough before the first pattern fades away but we get a general idea of how the pattern looks already as is okay well that is very interesting this has to be a glitch okay so it looks like it clusters over here for a little bit here for the most part it's very predictable it just goes straight up since we know that the recoil does go straight up basically we're just gonna pull down ever so slightly on the right stick but the first few shots are pretty crazy to control all right so that was not too bad but it could be improved that's why you have to try this again and again so the goal is to get a much more laser type of shot so that's what we're gonna go for right now so that's why it's a good idea to try this over and over again with guns that you are gonna be using a lot in multiplayer so as you can see here the second time was a charm just like it was with the mp5 you just got to play around with it get used to it and uh yeah this looks absolutely perfect to me right here centering is probably one of the most basic but most important advices that youtubers give and there's a big reason why for it because if you have your crosshairs all the way down here while you're running around the map or all the way to up if you're not centered correctly in game you're going to be at a big disadvantage and you're going to lose a lot of gunfights because players who do have good centering are going to be able to predict your movement and just kill you sooner you're just not going to stand a chance so if you've ever watched your favorite youtuber or other people play the game and wonder how they knew that person was going to be there they actually didn't know that the reason why they knew that is because they apply these basic fundamentals of centering so let's go over this really quickly you want to keep your crosshairs centered as possible on your screen and when you go through doors you want to make sure it's centered not too far down or not too far up and also for example let's say i'm going to go into this plane right and make sure that my crosshairs are centered as possible I'm going up this ladder and as soon as i enter this room I'm going to point it in areas where there's most likely going to be enemies. Now, I don't even know this map too well. This game literally just came out tonight. However, these fundamentals are applicable to every single Call of Duty that's ever come out. This is just a standard thing. So anyways, as you can see, I'm already lined up within the doorway. This is where someone's going to be. Now, let's see what happens if I didn't turn and rotate appropriately, you know, and I'm just like this. What happens? I'm going to get shot in the side. So just practice going around a map, right? Keep that keep that crosshair centered you can go slowly if you need to and then notice how i turn right away there all right i'm gonna do the same exact thing before i turn this corner i want to make sure that it's already centered right there at the doorway that way when i ads wherever that little dot is in my crosshair i'm already locked in lined up and ready to shoot my opponent so that is something that you need to practice to be able to get the upper hand and make sure you practice this almost all the time until you get it. Just practice this until you understand it. Just practice keeping those crosshairs as centered as possible. And also right here, small little detail that you probably missed. As soon as I ran out here, my crosshairs are not just pointed straight. What you saw me do here is that they were already pointed into this little container 
because that is where enemies are most likely going to be, right? So you want to make sure that you get the upper hand by making sure you're centering and rotating appropriately as you move on throughout the map. So we're going to set up a practice drill here to go ahead and practice everything we've learned today. And we're going to get into a lobby with bots. So the first thing you want to do is you want to change the mode to free for all. And then you want to go to bots and players. And you want to make sure you add as many as bots as possible. Obviously, you want as many targets to hit. So this is basically just target practice. Make sure that for the bot settings, you do have it on recruit difficulty remember we're not trying to compete against these bots in a gunfight we're strictly going for target practice and we do not want them to kill us the next thing you want to do is go into your edit game rules we're going to change the time limit to unlimited and the score limit to unlimited now you can change this to whatever you want you know you don't want to fatigue yourself but of course the more practice the more time spent the better repetition is key another setting that you do want to enable is to have the minimap on constant that way there are no guessing games it's just constant constant interactions and that's what we want now, as far as the loadout goes i'm personally going to be using the mp5 and this is maybe something that you want to use as well just because the recoil is just a little bit more challenging to control on most smgs versus assault rifle so on this one we're going to have the 50 round mag you know not saying that this is the best attachment for the mp5 but for the simple purposes of demonstrating this drill we want to have as much ammo as possible and for the body we're going to put on the five milliwatt laser so that we can practice hip firing as well now this is an optional portion of the video where if you feel like you've found your perfect sensitivity everything feels great after you've done your drills you could also go back into your game settings and you can make it headshots only that way you can practice shooting headshots to make you a much more accurate and precise player all right so basically what we're going to do is we're going to apply those simple basics of centering you know making sure that we're rotating into the right areas here's one right here we're going to hit fire and as you can see my dot was perfectly centered on that bot so you know we're not going to try to do anything amazing the whole point of this is to just get used to real life situations all right and we also do have that constant sweep of the uav that is on purpose so that we know exactly where to go so that so that the so that the action keeps continuing and there's no guessing games here we're just going to go straight to our opponents and we're going to rotate accordingly keep those crosshairs lined up and go in for the easy kills hopefully these tips and tricks were helpful to you if they did i would really appreciate it if you drop a like on this video and make sure to subscribe if you are brand new around here we're going to be making tons of content this year just like this and many more to come also if you're looking to stay connected beyond youtube you can follow me on twitter at real turbo man and you can find me live on twitch as well if you want to go ahead and follow me twitch.tv slash turbo man ttv and i'm also on instagram as well instagram.com slash real turbo man underscore i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video peace make sure to cop yourself some g fuel you know if you've never had g fuel before you can always buy a sample pack they're relatively cheap and luckily for you my code turbo is now 30 percent off up until november 16th so if you want to go ahead grab you some g fuel now would be the time to do so